Hi, and welcome to the D8 Rules Initiative. We strongly believe that the rules module must exist for Drupal 8. I'm Wolfgang Ziegler, I'm Fargo in the Drupal community, and I'm the creator of the rules module. Uh, I'm the initial creator of the module, so I've been doing the concept, the architecture, and quite some development of it. So initially, uh, when I created the rules module, the idea was uh, to create more flexible workflows. That's the reason why the, the first version of it, uh, the Drupal 5 version, was actually called Workflow NG. I've been working on it uh, mostly besides my studies, and I created the version 2 as part of my master thesis. Hi, I'm Josef Davanik, that's Jo, and I'm a coordinator on the Rules Project. I organized the D8 Rules funding campaign to make sure that our voice gets heard across the Drupal community. So with over 200,000 installations, the rules module is actually used on every fifth site that is built using Drupal. So let's hear what others say about the module. Every site builder loves rules because this, they, they hate to code. The great thing about rules is that it lets you provide standard behaviors, standard workflows for, for various country modules, for example, Drupal Commerce. This is typically where we, we use it. It's great, I think, for the developers that they can use their time doing working on more complex stuff. We are much more efficient with rules. I think rules um, kind of follows the same uh, principle uh, or philosophy of uh, Drupal, which is uh, eliminating the middleman. The reason that rules needs to be ported to Drupal 8 now is that we're still in the production process of Drupal 8. If rules need some things to be changed in Drupal 8, we can still do it. For me, basically, rules is an enabling technology that allows me to do things that else I wouldn't be able to do. If we don't have rules, then everyone will code that from scratch, and they will code that from scratch in a different way, which means that interoperability is harder to achieve. When I'm writing integration code, if I'm planning to do it in rules, other people can benefit from that. Lots of people are using it for Drupal 7, lots of people have used it um, for Drupal 6. And so that kind of functionality has proven that it's useful and that our community needs it. So it allows our module to be a lot more part of the community and people can change their workflow, their document workflows to be you know, how they want them to be. So the D8 Rules team consists of Fargo, Klausi and me. And there's also Nico who helps out with design and lots of others that help out with the initiative. Porting rules to Drupal 8 as early as possible is really important so that other integration modules can get ported as well. So for the Drupal 8 port of rules, we'll make use of all the new functionality that's available in Drupal 8 core, like the Type Data API, the plugin system, or the configuration management system. Porting rules to Drupal 8 is not an easy task at all, because all of the subsystems from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8 have changed entirely. For the Drupal 8 version of rules, we plan to build up the Symphony event system, so that any uh, Symphony event can be integrated and exposed to the rules module. So the architectural discussion and roadmap has already been laid out in the Drupal.org issue queue of the rules module. And we will also set up sprints on various Drupal camps and Drupal cons in order to get more people on the project. Let's make Drupal 8 a better place for site builders and developers by funding the rules board. Watch out, there are limited goodies for our individual sponsors. Donate now and support the initiative. Together, Together we can make this happen.